Welcome back to the Gracious Bounty of Sin City. I'm Andrea, and I'm having a fabulous time being here. And we're talking about not having sex, and then having sex, and lots of sex. And lots of sex, and uh, whores, and ninja, n- ninja division. division. <laughs> I love that. Um, I think we should have t-shirts. Oh, wait, that. there's a symbol. No. I stole this from someone, by the way. You have to go like this. You, m- you make the W with your fingers. Mm-hmm. Tap it. And tap it or turn it because you can just you just you don't even necessarily have you can cup your breast you can do whatever you want because we're horse ninja division you do what you want but that's especially like if your girlfriend's struggling or feeling like you know someone's mocking her and you just give her the the whore they're fast tracking her okay through. i want you to do this is uh what do you do Hey, this is Alexia with the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City sitting here with Andrea, a local girl who was celibate for 21 years and is no longer having sex twice a day now. <laughs> but she claims, uh, she says that she was whore ninja, vi- ninja division when she was uh, a lot younger and probably working her way towards that now. Yeah. But she, well, I hope not. <laughs> I'm kind of old for that. <laughs> but there's, there's a whole sign language thing that goes with that, the symbol. Oh, oh. So I want you to do it. You have to do the W. Right. And then tap and kind of go over. Tap and tap However, and twirl. Tap but you could also just hold it up. It's especially useful, like I said, if some bitch is giving your your fellow whore a hard time or some guys being douchey, just you know, remind them, whore. That's you know so who you are, division. Whore. Ninja division. I love this job. You know, we are going to have to incorporate that into our photo shoot. I guess okay. you could do it like that. Wait, wait. You could go W to N. Oh, hold on. W, w- N. N. Whore N? ninja division. W N D. W. You don't even need the division. Just whore ninja division. W N. W N. W N. Yeah. That's uh whore ninja division. Because whores get the job done. And that's <laughs> oh, my yeah. that's my favorite uh, They get in, they get out, and in and out and out again. That's actually my favorite Bible character. Uh, is, Jezebel? No. Before Jezebel uh, better than Jezebel. There's um this character named Rahab. In fact I wanted to start a church group called Sisters of Rahab. <laughs> so Rahab runs a house of prostitution and the the Jerusalem, the, the Jewish spies come in because they're going to take the city, and no one recognizes them. And Rahab, poor ninja division, says, "I know that you are angels of God. I will hide you here because they're being hunted. But you have to save me and my whole house because whores ninja division know how to." Eat. So they say, "Okay, put this scarf, which later became like the red light for whorehouses. <laughs> put this this red cloth up. We'll know it's your house. Her whole house gets saved. She's in the direct line of Jesus." Wow. Wow. Sisters of Rahab. We could come up with a little symbol for that, too. The Whore's Ninja <laughs> Division. Best thing you could possibly be. That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> I'm getting a t-shirt with that on it. Whore's. Whore. Ninja, Ninja Division. Division. <laughs> oh, can we, do we market that or what? I have to get one of those. We'll, Trademark we'll, we'll, we'll put it in okay. our line. And mine, you know, a little lower V-neck. Yeah. Well, it can't just be a t-shirt because we're right. Whore's Ninja Division. Cleavage. <laughs> cleavage. We can, always cleavage. cleavage. We can cut that. Well, look, we'll print it on the belly and that way we can cut that shit all the way down, whatever, <laughs> however far we need it to go. But there you go. I love it. I like it. You I know like that's it. what we're doing, right? Yeah. WND. Okay. Okay. W-N-D. And it has W-N-D. to be purple because purple is the color of royalty. Yes. Has to be purple. And fatties look good in purple. Oh, is that true? I didn't know. I thought we looked like grapes, personally. <laughs> grapes it, are delicious. I, you know what? They I are. used to not wear orange because I thought I'd look like a pumpkin, you know, lumpy and round. No. Uh, but I wear orange and I look good in it. You would look good <laughs> in anything. Baby. And the thing about it, too, that even grapes that get dried up, mm-hmm. which I didn't after the 21 years, by the way, just saying. Um, <laughs> even grapes that get dried up are raisins and raisins are delicious. Raisins are so delicious. So grape is not the worst thing you could be. Raisins are great in soda bread. Okay. They do. All right, so let's do some catch-ups. All right, start with you, since I got a camera on you already. Guess who had sex last night? You. Do you know why? Because you had the show tonight. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) So we were talking about this week. Is that a pre-show ritual? (laughs) (laughs) We were talking about this week about um, how often Silent Mike and I have sex, and it's not as often as most people would think, but that's because we're very busy, and we usually don't get to bed till really late, and we have to get up really early. And I don't like cutting into my sleep time. <laughs> and I'm also the one where I have to kind of prepare to have sex. She can't just have sex on the fly. She's got to go clean up and shave. Yeah. And yeah, that's me. I I, I want to be make sure that I'm clean. He's not going to get a whiff of something funky down there after I've been sitting in my panties all day or anything. So you may be wearing panties too much. I, I could be. Yes. Um, so I, I did say to him earlier in the evening, I made pad thai last night, mm. um, which of course, a way is to a man's <laughs> stomach is through, a uh, way to a man's heart is through his stomach. I thought a way through a man's... Pad thai is definitely sex food. Yeah. I thought the way to okay. a man's heart was through his chest cavity. 
<laughs> That's when he's pissed you off, honey. Uh-huh. <laughs> when you want sex, it's through his stomach. And uh, so um, I did say right, right as we were having dinner, we were watching some episodes of Firefly because I've been on a Firefly fly kick lately. <sighs> Me too. I know, right? Um, I said, do you want to have sex tonight? And he goes, that would be nice. <laughs> oh, how polite. This how is lovely. How, this is how most of their sex starts. Yes. He's like okay. stroking her and she's like, do you want to do it? And he's like, mm, that'd be good. Yeah. I could take her. This is what my sex life would be like if I hadn't taken that 21 year break. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely. Which which is what this this is what I, I really like that method. You know, if he says to me, I'd like to fool around lady later, I'd, I'll say, okay. And I'll prep my day for it. I'll make sure dinner is done in enough time so I've eaten so I don't want to throw up if I'm having sex. You know, I, I get to plan it out. I, I am not a spontaneous kind of person. <sighs> But we were talking this week about how it seems that the timing of our sexcapades usually always happens right before the show. So I have a story to tell on the show. <laughs> Again, who are Ninja Division, you are pragmatic. <laughs> Very. She's you are a working woman and you have to fit things in on time. Except it, it's not me. It's Silent Mike. I like <laughs> you convinced yourself that that's true and made it his idea. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's genius. anyway so of course as always sex is uh perfectly awesome um lots of uh venom squirting going on touching parts do you remember venom? the venom story uh, when he fills my cavity so full that it starts to squirt out everywhere and oh travel that's right through all my crevices and touches little parts where it's supposed to that's right that's it's right. it's like venom tendrils coming out so there was a lot of that going you on you don't know who venom is right a it's comic a book comic book thing. Yeah, right? exactly. Again, mother of a 21 year old. Yeah. I just will never it, be able the... to watch that shit again. Because <laughs> now all you're going to think about is Silent Mike's cum clawing, clawing out of Alexia's pussy to touch all of her good parts. That's right. I'm going to think about that anyway because I'm just happy she's having that. <laughs> <laughs> when I say my prayers, I'm going to say and thank you for Venom Cum for my new sister. <laughs> but I, I, I did want to mention this one thing that happened. Um, Silent Mike, when he touches me, it always feels great because I, I'm, I'm a firm believer. I'm, I'm a good hug giver. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I like, you know, when I'm complimenting someone, I like to touch them on their shoulder or on their arm because I know touch goes, touch sense mm-hmm. is, you can, you can, you can feel the sincerity and love that comes from touch. I have to interject, um, in my real, in my other life, which may be ending soon again, because I'm, you know, so much more verbal. I teach <laughs> children with autism, right? Uh, my hands are all over them, right? Because I don't care what they told you about autism. Touch is a good thing. I, you, you need to feel that affection. You need to. Right, right, right. Yeah. And um, so when Silent Mike touches me, it always feels great. When we're driving in the car and he puts his hand on my knee, I love that he touches me in those little ways. Mm-hmm. There's one activity that we do um, frequently that um, is usually, there's usually not, not a lot of touching involved and that's grocery shopping. <laughs> So when we go, we're, we're always looking what we were going down the aisles, we're getting what we need, we got our list, we got to make sure we get our ice cream that we love, and, and he goes off to go get his drink mix, and so it's very... Um, independent. Oh, uh, well, not independent so much as it, it's just, we're, it's all business. It's a non-contact sport. It is, right? Except this last week when we went to the grocery store. It's like shuffleboard. And, <laughs> <laughs> and he touched my arm... To, uh, and I think uh, maybe we need to get some fish or something. The, I, I can't even remember bl- what it was. The merits of kale over spinach. Right? <laughs> and, but he touched my arm and just the, the feeling that came off of his hand, the warmth mm-hmm. and the love. You and the, just described a Cialis commercial. I, I know. Right? <laughs> I, I, I was... I, Ready at any time. I... I Got slightly stimulated by that touch in the middle of the Good. grocery store Should aisle. Nipples get hard and everything. No, sure you weren't in the freezer no. aisle. It was. It was. I could just tell that he loved me so much Aww. right at that point. And I'm like, and I, I swear to you, I thought to myself, we're in the middle of a fucking grocery store. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Try next time a well-placed smack on the ass while you're looking at bread <laughs> also is fantastic. Yeah, I just said that happens. Fantastic. A it feeling, is. you know, not not a, like a closet fat <laughs> F.A. If he's, if he's in and people can hear that smack. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I get the better bread. Sorry. I was looking at the cheap chip, but I'll get the Hawaiian bread for you, baby. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. I do like Hawaiian bread. <laughs> They make it sliced oh, now. I get the oral wheat shit do. now. Mm-hmm. I, no like the, I like the singular rolls. That way I don't eat the whole thing as one sitting. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that's my catch up today. 
So you got stimulated in the grocery I store. I did. That's awesome. I did by just a single touch, which that's lovely. I I know. I I was I was overwhelmed, and I asked him later. I said, "Did you, you know, when you touched me today, it it just felt so good." And did you like love me like really intensely for like a moment? And he goes, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me tell you a fast story. My okay. son was my son was four. Hope and he shattered. Used, he used to <laughs> go to the bathroom. And then pee again in the shower. And I asked him, do you like hold some for the shower or something? He's like, <laughs> mom, I'm a male. We're not that deep. When he was four? He's yeah. like, mom, we don't think that. No, what he said, I'm a guy. We don't think that much. <laughs> so he probably had intense love for you in the moment, but three other things that happened and he true, forgot. Because he's a guy. They Maybe he realized much. where the drink mix was. I love you so something. much. You squirrel. <laughs> See, no, I would not. I would give up. Hopefully, I wouldn't have to, but I would give up. Give up twice a day porn sex for that. Would you? Would you? Sure. Yeah. I mean, I like to be loved. I have people yeah, yeah, love yeah. me, and I yeah. look at that kind of I'm coming off kind of wrong. No. Oh, I'm so glad I don't have to choose. So I don't have to choose. What did you say? So glad I don't have to choose. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm uh, again, I got the after, last one just saying. Well, uh, after 21 uh, years and some selection and yeah. getting more confidence that I don't have to pick. I have comedy porn sex. I fall off the bed every now she and then. She does. <laughs> <laughs> so, Maybe I mean, I am she rolls right off pounds. the bed. Her butt tries to eat his penis. I it's have, fabulous I, stuff. I have 400 pounds. I fall off the bed. They're going to have to fucking shoot me. Well, <laughs> no. He, he was holding on to my legs at the time, so I fell off very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of like. It was kind of like that scene from The Matrix when Neo's being shot at and he leans back real slow. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly Just... it. <laughs> Except he was holding on to my legs because he was eating my pussy at the time. So so you could you could reframe that. It doesn't have to be comedy porn sex. It's Matrix sex. Matrix. You guys are so it's good. Matrix you are having Tweet that. It's, it's sci-fi that sex, now. motherfucker. Sci-fi no, sex. No, that's some Neo shit. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> So. Okay, so you want to take a break uh, and go to the next... Uh, yeah, let's take a quick segment. break. Okay. Quick break. Well, when we come back, that was Alexia's ketchup. When we come back, we've got Sierra. Woo-hoo! And then Andrea's got ketchup for us, too. We'll be right back. <laughs> 